Did you know that in Redshift for Cinema 4D there are a couple of ways to streamline complex shader setups? In this example scene we have a complex procedural rock material. Looking at the node tree it becomes clear that such a shader can only be understood and flexibly edited if a few simple rules for order and organization are followed. The first rule is be accurate. No trees are lying tree diagrams that can be read from left to right. Therefore, the first step of streamlining is only done by creating a clear visual structure. Nodes should be lined up neatly next to each other and node connections should be visually traceable. For exceptionally long node connections, it may help to create so-called rerouters by right-clicking on the connection. These rerouters can then be moved to avoid intersections with other nodes. If different nodes merge into one color layer node, it should be placed on the vertical center of the other nodes so that the node connections remain visually comprehensible like branches on a tree. Logical areas such as this falloff shader for debris should be spatially separated from others. With all these measures we should proceed accurately and take care that the node tree itself is already a pleasant appearance. As a second step, logical areas of a node tree can be framed, named and moved with so-called scaffolds. These scaffolds have been added in Cinema 4D release 2024 and make working with complex shaders much easier. Scaffolds are simply created like regular nodes, the relevant nodes are then dragged in and the scaffold node can be named and moved. To empty scaffolds, simply drag the relevant nodes out of the scaffold. As a third option, since Cinema 4D released 2024, small text annotations can now be made with so-called node nodes. These can simply be moved to the corresponding position and help further with orientation. Of course, there is still the possibility to group selected nodes with the Alt-G command. Then these are quasi-summarized in a super node. This group can be ungrouped with Shift-G. I prefer to work with a completely open node tree to get the best possible overview. If you want to know how this material is built, you can watch it live in the Maxon Ask the Trainer session on October 26, 2023. See link in the video description. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and don't miss the next episode of Did You Know Redshift for Cinema 4D every shiny Wednesday on this channel.